Oh, good day, guys. It's uh, Fight Ref Simo again, getting up close and personal with my main man here, Michael Juba. Yeah, is that how we pronounce yeah. it? Yeah, that's okay. Good, yeah. But it's spelt Mikel, but pronounced Michael. Yeah, that's okay. Good, yeah. Now, gotta know. Yeah. Everybody calls you Beaver when you fight. Yeah. Where did and how did it? That, uh, I see the similarity a little bit. Uh, yeah. I, that's about as far as it goes because I've seen. Beaver on the pads and he's fucking over this. <laughs> uh, um, that started with uh, my friend Darren when I was doing Muay Thai. Um, I think it was probably within... Darren Kurovic? Yeah. Called yeah. you that. Okay. Yeah, he started it. So um, it's probably about a week out from my first fight. And I can't remember... Uh, <laughs> I uploaded like a picture on Facebook. It was like, I think it was like one of my first profile pictures or something like that. Yeah. And... Um, my hair was long, it was a very, very sticky photo, but uh, <laughs> and he just sort of called me Bieber and then he said he was going to do that for my first fight when I was able to get the rep, or yeah, the rep, the announcer to call you Bieber. Yeah, and uh, I was like, nah, 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 it's not going to happen, not going to happen, you know. Everyone's, yeah, everyone wants a cool fight name and then, um, yeah, he did it for the first fight and I just kind of stuck him. <laughs> everyone kind of remembers a really weird fight name. So. Yeah, that's true, so all of a sudden you're Bieber, not, not McCall, yeah, and not just Michael. Yeah, it, it follows me everywhere, man. It's, I think for a good two years I didn't even hear my name other than when I was at home and even then like, I don't say, oh, Michael, I just call you. Like, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, even, I, it's funny how names stick because my message is when she's angry, goes, Simo! You yeah. Never, that, never calls me Mark, you know, she just barks at me, Simo. That's it sticks, doesn't it? Yeah, and, could, and yeah, because also, like, where I was working, I was working at the Daily Fitness for a while, yeah. and so obviously I knew Adam through fighting, and so he he obviously told everyone the fight name, and, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it just, it just followed me everywhere, so work, and now it's actually followed me at like, my new job now, obviously, I know. You're not, so you are done. not going to get rid of us, I swear, nah, mate. <laughs> nah, I'm just hoping Ben doesn't catch on to it too quick. Oh, well. There's a few people at the, at the clinic that's calling me that. This so. is going to be entered as Bieber. Oh, no. <laughs> so, you've had how many years at Kalsop? Um, Well, fighting, I think it was two and a half, I was on my third year. Okay. Um, my first fight, 2012, so it all, I started halfway through 2014, so it was two and a half, two. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Training. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I probably started somewhere like September. In 2011, I started training. And I just kind of told Darren at the beginning of 2012. Because I think I was originally going to the army. Oh, so right. I just well, said, I was training on it. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was signing up. I was in the whole process. And I told Darren, you know, this year I just want to have as many fights as I possibly can. And then as I was fighting, you know, my things changed and what well, I really want to be in the army anymore. Okay. And then through that year, because I mean, at, when I first started, I was into like film and all that stuff. And then I started getting into health and fitness and then started with become a personal trainer. So. And you're a personal trainer now? Yeah, I'm yeah. a qualified personal trainer, yeah. Sweet. So. How old were you when you came in from uh, South Africa? Uh, it was in, I was 10 and it was like a month and I turned 11. And how old were so, you now? Uh, 20. Okay, yeah. 10 years and half and half. Yeah, Brooke, yeah. Uh, similar to me. I've been actually a bit more in Australia now than I was in, yeah. in England, but uh, I still get hammered for my English accent. Still get caught upon. <laughs> See, I, yeah, I don't even hear, like, a lot of okay. times I don't even hear that British accent. Like, sometimes I just don't hear it. Yeah, like, I'll get hammered all the time. But... Yeah. Okay, so did you do any fighting sports as a kid over in South Africa? No, no. Nah, nah, picked was... all that up here. In, in yeah, well, I mean, I was always, as a kid, like, super into martial arts. Like, I think every weekend I went, like, Ten Bruce Lee movies or Jackie Chan movies and um, what after you come here or before? No, as a kid, just as growing kid. up, I just like loved martial art movies. I mean, I wasn't into combat sports or books or anything, but um, I came here and I started. Um, I think it was it was literally a year before I started Muay Thai. I actually got into MMA. Okay, so you had about 15, 16 in now? Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. 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 You win any titles yet? Uh, I won a state title. Uh, one of my last fights, one of the second last fight against uh, Gang. Um, it was about 58 kilograms. So okay. Like that, yeah. Which, which, uh, where was that? What show? That was on Nemesis. Okay. Eight, I think. Yeah. Was that uh, WKN? Uh, that was uh, that was uh, WA. I can't remember. Okay. It's, you got the belt? Yeah, I got the belt. I got the so belt. That's all that matters. Yeah, I got the belt. Hang, yeah. hang the belt up. Excellent. All right. Well, we're we'll gonna have a bit of a feed at uh, Pank and get some yeah. pancakes down your neck. Then, uh, and they're good. You ask many things, mate. The pancakes are good. All right, we'll have a chat a bit more in a minute.